Right. What color are they playing? And they are red versus purple. Uh, no, red versus blue. Red versus blue. I think, or no. Purple versus NC. Okay. Purple versus NC. Yeah. Oh, stream is on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Get out of being logged in. Where's Vody though? So you said purple versus blue? Yep. Uh, I tried to normalize the uh, audio from last time I streamed too, so... Shouldn't be quite as loud. So yeah, because no Batty, uh, <laughs> Batty had that adjusted for whatever he had, and I... Lowered it a little bit, but I guess it was even then still too high. Uh, yep, yeah, gone on. Uh, I'm on Joke X Gallows. Light assault trooper spotted. That's not true, Gallows. <laughs> no, it's not the semi-final. We are still in the group stage, but hello, guys.
Mm, they are apparently not yet on team speak. We should maybe quickly remind them that they need to be. Enemy heavy spotted. ID on an enemy flash. Enemy light assault in the area. <laughs> uh, the rest of their team is arriving right now. I see on team speak Bubby, Bob Squirtle, Eddie, Shifty, and Winter. That's five. Show me what you're made of. Yeah, but on the other side, W Fed lost their last match on Ghana and against B Way by a Pretty, pretty small point difference. Yep. And they missed. They missed the point flip, the classic. Guess both teams are fairly nervous. <laughs> I can tell you that in a second. Um. Let me see. We play Vody versus W Fat. W Fat is actually starting on Sours.
I know that Vulcans actually uh, practice the the map fairly often and the wall climb. Yeah, I guess they will both know them. Um, I saw some some POVs of Bob Squirtle's team playing Ganon. Doesn't matter where I have them from. <laughs> and yeah, they are definitely practicing uh, wall climbs, playing. They know that they can walk on the bridges. Mm. In terms of that, it will be fairly interesting. Vody just played against the Blink team a practice match on first day on this map and heavily won against us. What was surprisingly for everyone. But yeah, they also figured out how to play the map, so I guess it will be fairly interesting. Bob Squirrel is asking if there is a delay on the stream. I don't think so, right? Yeah, like the, just the normal Twitch delay. I actually need to start a script as well. What are their texts again? F-18. A-R-S. Okay, that is uh, W set versus vote. Okay, my script is ready. Asking for, asking for a delay on stream here. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know how the rest is. How's the referee going? A lot of gibberish in yell chat. I think on the Vody side we will see a pretty classical setup with just one Volta, one LA, rest heavies. But I somehow have the feeling the W Fat guys could do something more exotic and try something. We saw them playing Paris with three light assaults instead of two. Oh, in around 60 seconds. Okay. But yeah, who do you follow at the start? Okay, I will check what the Frenchies are doing. Yep. Check that everyone is actually in the Sunday. And see not confirming. Ah, and see it's ready as well, okay. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, my script is running as well. And we see five heavy assaults from Vody. Is that a heavy? No, it's one light assault actually. No, one LA, one roof heavy. 
but the roof SMG heavy. I don't know if that is the best idea, to be honest. Yep, no NC has soldier. the blitz. Volpolter is directly trying to get some picks at Skinny, but he misses all his shots. WFET LA drops behind and gets a pick. And Gallus, apparently you're muted on stream, my darling. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, dude, this is great. In the meantime, guys, until Gallus figures out what he's doing. We see an NCLA on the roof. <laughs> Betty fucked up the stream. How many? <laughs> um, it could be that you maybe have pushed the talk as uh, activated, disabled, whatever. Um, we see an NCLA dropping down. He's just waiting, but but Winter and Bapti, I think. No, Shifty and Winter are playing LA for the WFET team. Interesting combination. Let's see. WFAT holding fairly inside, and we have 15 se uh, seconds from the cap. Pretty untypical. Bob Squirtle with a resist shield, but gets still taken out by the bolter. And they manage to. No, that is not it. Do they get the cap? Nope, they manage to stop the timer. If the heavy assault can kill the ally on point now, 50 resecures. That's the cap. Cap for W Fed, that's plus 18. I hope the referees note that. Not that we'll remind them. Is your level going up? <laughs> that's the question. Oh, it is. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Um. Still no gelbo sound. That is really, really bad. We all want to listen to him, technically. Bob Squirtle guarding the point area here. Running up to dubs. No, he's falling back again, holding fairly passive for his team. Maybe he's just giving the calls from the background. Let him try something, guys. He will try something. Gallows would. I'm going to swap it on my uh, scene real quick, and then I'm going to swap it back over the PIL uh, one. Maybe it's your device. Check if your real uh, right microphone device is set up. Yep, scuffed stream like always. Turtle, it's Gallows. He will always suck. <laughs> okay. Uh, I swapped it over from one scene to the other scene, so... Uh, let's see if this yeah, is working now. No, I know. Oh. It's going to come back in a sec. Oh, okay. Any, any audio? Any audio, guys? Please tell him. <laughs> Let me unmute the screen. Oh, I think, I think we've got audio. That's really weird. Yes, we can hear All right. Bebo. Oof, all right. Crisis averted. Back to the game. Uh, looks like we've got Winchester Flower Ranging Team at 54 right now and Vode 29. Winchester did get the cap, so that's going to be plus 18 to them uh, for right now at least. Uh, right now they are holding pretty well inside. Uh, last we were looking at them uh, before the delay. Uh, we had the flank going off. Are they still playing two LAs up here? Uh, I don't see any uh, LAs up here. I think they're... still see definitely Winter. Oh, yep, here they come. Russian-speaking guy in their team. So we've got and two... Uh... 
two Shifty is still on LA as well. Yep. Two Winchester Flower Ranging Team. Uh Anything LA's. No, I'm going to be saying Winchester Flower Ranging Team the entire game. Uh, both of them up, <laughs> up on the roof here. Uh, they did see a Bolter a second ago. I think the Bolter might have dropped down already. Uh, Bolter is actually a very good counter for these LAs, so I don't know if they're going to make uh, take too much advantage of that. It doesn't seem like they are, uh, but that is a smart play. Turn down, Gal. Here, I'll turn it down a little. I want to. I want to point out this is still uh, all entirely Batty's fault. Uh, all of these scenes were imported yeah, we, directly we from Batty. So. <laughs> If any of the mods are able to, please add the baddie command and uh, with a count of how often <laughs> the stream. <laughs> so back to the inside here, we do have Winchester Flower Ranging Team still holding the hallway. The Vode team having an incredibly difficult time pushing into this. This tends to happen a lot uh, when you don't make advantage of those flanks on the door one. Uh, I so far have not seen Vode push into that, but maybe we'll change that. They, they do see them going up there right now. Uh, I just dropped out of my ops camp. Nice. Uh, Vo just took out one of the LAs for Winchester Flower Ending Team. LA heading into Fat Stairway here. He might get a pick. He's going back up. He didn't get the pick. Uh, just kind of pulling out of their harassment a little bit. Looks like they're just going to stay in the crevice for a little while. Maybe, maybe waiting for uh, the rest of their team to push into the dubs area. What's going on here? Looks like we got a Bolter still. Oh, gets the pick, though, off of the skinny. Bolter heading down to point. Looks like they're going to be holding the point now. Uh, it's only a few people inside, it looks like. So, Wolf Fat team might be able to push this right back out. We'll see what happens when they actually get to the building. Yeah, I don't think this is stable enough to be considered a hold. Yeah, it's definitely definitely small numbers inside right now. Wolf Fat can uh, take advantage of this quite quickly. So we got three door one heavies. Here they go. They're going up fat. This is a strong push. Oh, nice shot on the yeah. There. Oh my God! All three Winchester Flower Ranging Team heavies are dead in hallway. Who was it? Who was the heavy assault? Who? I don't think it was just one. I, actually, Vode had that set up as a crossfire fairly well. One one heavy is hiding behind this box here. One heavy baiting him out on skinny, and then one heavy inside the server room here, waiting for them to get up here on the crossfire. That was a smart play by Vode. They actually might be able to hold this for a, a pretty good amount of time now. That is, to be honest, exactly what they did against us on the uh, first day. We got our cap in the first round, but then they just started to hold every yeah. angle they could and lured us into crossfires over and over again. Yeah, that's a smart one, because uh, three heavies running up fat is actually a very strong push, uh, no matter what angle you're on, but they actually countered that incredibly well. One, one infill down here on Skinny, dead now. Yeah, uh, oh, SMG heavy takes them both out. Oh, one Winchester Flower Ranging Team LA goes down, traded with the heavy inside. There's only one heavy left on the point now for the Vogue team. Actually, nobody's left inside the building right now. Uh, Winchester Flower Ranging Team could just push this right in. Uh, two Vogue, two Vogue heavies coming inside now. One holding that skinny flank. He's going to get pushed here by another heavy. He might be able to hold his own here. Conking down. Doesn't go through. There's now two heavies upstairs on Skinny. One W fat heavy assault standing up the stairs, but he gets picked off. One light assault left. He gets pushed now. No, yeah, he gets pushed by an infiltrator. Bolter now being able to uh, to get set up on this long corridor here. He might be able to get some picks here at bare minimum. Hold off uh, Winchester Flower Ranging Team. Uh, meanwhile, we've got two, three heavies headed up fat right now. Uh, there's only one... Only one heavy up there to hold them off. Bobby is getting picked off easily. Ooh, these guys are both conked here. Going inside. He gets the picks. All their concussions. <laughs> Something we don't see really often from the, the B group teams. Really, really good usage of the, mm -hmm. the specialty. For, for Ganon specifically, actually, conk grenades are an incredibly important uh, tool because yeah, you, you've uh, got to be able to get these people off their uh, their corner flanks. Talk about the concussion hell, Ganon. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is absolutely conk hell. 
Uh, meanwhile, we do have Wafat. Looks like they've just taken back the bottom floor and the top floor, it looks like. <coughs> One Bulger kind of just running in by himself, gets downed immediately by the corner. Eddie just holding down that flank, it looks like. He's probably going to be a pretty strong uh, player there on that corner. Uh, it's going to be another hard push for the Vo team. I don't know, it seems like he's, uh, he's holding it off. If they just hold these corners for a little while longer while that uh, that cap timer f falls down, they're in a good spot to push, I'd say. Uh, while what they could be waiting for is an LA above. Let's see what's going on up here. Actually, no LAs. And oh, vote team pushing in. Pushing down on Skinny. Did he pick him up on that range? No way. With an SMG across the whole building. That was a beautiful pick from Skinny there. Mm-hmm. Vode team now has control of the building again. We've got one door three. I think this is Bob, right? Yeah, this is Bob over here on door three. Conking in. Bob is the guy that looks like a tin Yeah. Head. <laughs> uh, shifty. I think all three of these heavies are going to be pushing fat Hopefully again. Yeah, here we go. All five heavies pushing fat right now, you know, going right up. Bob now switch to his trusty MS-15 instead of the Orion. <laughs> interesting, uh... He has some recoil problems. Interesting, uh, I, I think... A little, little into their mindset here. I think what happened was the last time they pushed with three people and got all picked off on haul, they thought, you know, maybe not enough people, let's run in with everybody. Unfortunately for them, it looks like that doubling down did not help. It actually, uh, their whole team died here in the hallway. Uh, so, trying, trying to kind of double down on that aggressive play, but it's really not working out when you've got these crossfires going on. It's three minutes left in the round, or <clears throat> is it? Uh, I have two minutes, 40, 40 seconds. Yes, two minutes, 40 left, and the point timer says two minutes, mm -hmm. 60, so... They have enough time to, to cap this if they can hold it well enough. Uh, well, Fat Team really has to change up uh, their flanks a bit. No, we Fat is running in now. Yep, there they go. Actually, they came and in from Dubs this time. Everyone just walking yep. through them. Much smarter play there by the, by the oh, W yeah, Fat yeah, Team. That was brutal. Really, That's really, really brutal kill on that heavy assault, just jumping in the space. These kind of plays are really what you want to see on Ghana. The uh, the long flanks around going in through a, a completely different angle. Uh, I think what, what uh, Winchester Flower Ranging team here was doing wrong was just kind of doubling down on that aggressive behavior, going up fat and then getting crossfired in the hallway. That's that's really not what you want to do uh, when you want to take back the building. Here we go with the bolter. He might be able to get the pick off of Skinny. He gets a, gets a little hurt there. Uh, meanwhile, this whole team running in. Just running in again with three people. Two S two, one really SMG, I'm sorry. Engagement. Yeah. A lot of ad ading happening there. That was a good uh, good fight. <coughs> we have another heavy running up on... I know some other teams that would team kill each other if someone ad at the same spot. <laughs> uh, oh! Vote LA that took back Skinny there. Vody coming back. Vody coming back in terms of score. Uh, Winchester Flower Ranging team, uh, they're not going to be, Vody not being able to get the cap here is going to hurt them uh, because the Winchester Flower Ranging team does have uh, quite a few points over them uh, for the first half. So we're going to see, cap. yeah, plus cap is what I mean. Uh, we're going to see a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good plays by Vody hopefully on the second half to kind of make up that score. Oh, Vody with the knife kill there on the LA. I'll, uh, I'll add mine um, on half. The purple guys are team one for me. Uh, that's how I have it too. Now we have... Uh, for me now, including the cap, 150 to 121. Only 30 okay. seconds left on this, and it looks like uh, Wafat's really going to have a... Doable. Yeah, it's definitely doable, uh, by far, because the vote team is... Now ...with having the easier side to cap, <coughs> yep. in my opinion. Um, Someone wants to correct me there. Feel free, guys. <clears throat> no, I'm 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 absolutely with that because the heavy doors or the the fat doors here, uh, very strong uh, side. I will say the well, fat team did a very good job at least on uh, on pushing with that side. Uh, but now we're gonna see them have to play aggressively on the other side. Silent aim from no one else as Atupik, their team leader. <laughs> and that is uh, uh, time for this hat. Glorious French internet. Yeah, good half to both teams. Yep. Maybe our referees should also realize that. <laughs> I think there are 
By the way, our referee spot today, guys, uh, who jumped both in the last seconds, thank you for that. Uh, Baumi and Alvista. <laughs> 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 I should laugh when I say that. <laughs> Alvista is a very professional caster, uh, but unfortunately he couldn't cast as he had a, uh, a sore throat, I'm going to say, as a... Uh, as a definite excuse, he definitely has a sore throat. That's why we didn't put him as caster. Yeah, he has a sore throat. He told us, and we said, oh, mm -hmm. that's sad. Like, Big sad news. I'm cast. sorry. I guess I will have to stream and cast. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't rap in this place because Galbo wanted someone. That's true. Who actually knows these both teams. <laughs> I play both fairly often with the bling guys. Um, yeah. By the way, guys, the winner of this match will be first in group together if with bling if bling wins their match against fcc today what could happen technically so we're looking at the scoreboard here let me add in the points for uh, winchester flower ranging team real quick 151 to 129 is what i have It didn't uh, didn't add the cap for you. There we are. Okay, so I actually have one fifty one to one twenty nine. Is that what you have? Yep. That's okay. What I have. Perfect. So it looks uh, it looks like a fairly a fair lead for the for the Wafat team, but that quickly to the referees and tell them they forgot to add the cap. Okay. Now, User left your channel. one thing to point out here is Wafat did have the stronger side. Uh, the three fat doors here are a, a, a very good, uh, a strong push. Uh, it's very hard to tell which direction anybody's going to be coming from for, uh, for the aggressive team. So we're going to see probably Vode hold a lot better and push a lot better uh, starting from the south side now that they have it. Uh, when they have the south side, they have access to the crossfire known as the skinny door area, the fat door area, and the uh, little corner camp you saw Eddie on earlier. Um, it's going to be very very hard for Wafat to counter that unless they go for flanks here. Uh, we didn't see a lot of flanking by either team really here. Uh, really hoping to see more of that. Ganon is a flank-heavy map, uh, and it really favors the, the aggressive team that, that makes use of that uh, sort of flanks. Okay, it's fixed. It's fixed. Okay. <laughs> All fixed. The referees were slightly confused, maybe, but that happens. And C forgot to flip the point again. Also happens. <laughs> also happens. Oh. Uh. Blue people. The point. The pa point. Let me just pause it there for him. So back to the scoreboard here. Uh, like I said, 151 to 129, strong lead for the Wafat team, but definitely doable for the uh, Vogue team to come back from that. Uh, for the individual scores, uh, that would be one of your ops, boys. It's either stuff. <laughs> Probably trying to flip as a max without a without a uh, a connecting. <laughs> Oh yeah, we need to start the second round. There we go. So for the individual scores, we do see Eddie up there on the uh, Winchester Flower Ranging team as 36. Strong heavy plays inside uh, for his uh, total points and then 16 for his net. Uh, Bapti only going two nets, but he was uh, he was playing quite a lot on the roof, I believe. He was one of these uh, those LAs. No, Bapti wasn't in LA. Really? He was actually playing heavy assault. The LAs Who? Were Shifty and Winter. Oh, interesting. Uh, Shifty not going super well into that match. Uh, negative nine there. Yeah, Shifty also needs to manage the comps for two LAs at the same time, because Winter is not the guy who's... Sent oh, him. interesting. Okay, so there's not a lot of callouts happening from Winter. No, 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 no. And if there are callouts from Winter, there are sometimes something like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the Vode team. Say a lot. He only says important Vode things. team does have Spooky going 14. I believe he was one of the heavies inside. Uh, so. Mm, yeah. 
So pretty, pretty doable for the Vogue team. Honestly, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see some interesting plays. I think by the Vogue team and holding those uh, those crossfires pretty well. Maybe I shouldn't jinx it for them, but I'd say it's it's a, it's definitely a likely outcome that the Vogue team will uh, will play pretty well. They have the stronger side now, and if they can set up the crossfire, kind of similar to how they they set up the crossfire on the last uh, half, they're gonna be doing pretty well. I'd say. I say voting wins. Then what is your thinking? What do you think? Who can who can win? Who it? do I think can win it? Uh, well, like yeah. I said earlier, the Ganon does support aggressive players a lot more than it does um, the more you know, kind of smarter plays, crossfire plays. Uh, if you're an aggressive player and you you know what you're doing, uh, the Wafat team I think can take this if they play more flanks. Okay, interesting. I yeah, my my vote is on vote. Yeah, I, I I definitely believe that uh, that Winchester Flower Ranging team can handle this uh, as long as they do some flanking. If we don't see any flanks from them, the name of, the of course it's because of the name. I love their name. I love their people. Fat. I love Bobby. As well. <laughs> All right, five seconds starting now. Four, three, three, two. My script is. Looks like mine started. Yep, we're good. Money. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so from the W Fat side, we have five LAs, one L, or I'm sorry, five heavies, one LA, uh, one LA head up to roof. It looks like it's a shifty. No, it's winter. Winter on the roof mm -hmm. with a black hand equipped. Interesting. You know, I've been seeing a lot of black hands uh, lately, uh, these matches. So <clears throat> I guess it's not that strange to see. Um, kind of just getting those head glitches set up. Yeah. Real quick, inside. Yeah, Vogue team just wiped the entire Winchester Flower Ranging team inside. Uh, they're going to be in a very strong position to set up those those uh, those crossfires. Let's see if Wafat takes advantage of the, their easy flanks that they've got available. Looks like most of them setting up on dubs right now. Uh, if they kind of double down on their aggressiveness, this is going to go pretty poorly for the uh, Winchester Flyer Ranging team. Oh! oh. Vote Corner Camper back here in server. Actually got two picks there. Uh, and a Vote LA almost gets a pick, but it goes down uh, on the flank there. Vote really just wanting to hold the Wafat team off here and get that quick cap. Uh, honestly, this is going to be a uh, smart play by them to just kind of hold them off for a little while before playing anything aggressively. Uh, Wafat finally making use of this aggressive uh, flank here. Shifty headed down onto door one. He's going inside and completely missed a heavy. He's getting put... Yeah. yeah, he missed He missed the heavy when he ran in. Uh, Wafat team now trying to make use of that flank that and that one pick that he got. But it, yeah, almost... He's running... Waiting for his team. What is the smart decision? He doesn't mm -hmm. just run in. Only 30 seconds door. left on this cap, though. If the Wolfat team doesn't make a push, they're going to be in a bad spot for the rest of this half. Looks like Bob Squiddle kind of yeah, just... Yeah, oh, got amp there. And, and he gets sides. downed. Bob getting picked off by the Bulls. Yeah, that's a headshot, too. Winchester... Winchester Flower Ranging team just, uh, just kind of regrouping in server right now. They have 10 seconds to make this push. Can they do it? No, they are not doing it. Oh, no, I see him going down on, on the skinny. Oh, but he's not making it all the way down. Yep, Vode gets the cap. Beautiful. Yep, Vode's doing very well. This is exactly what you'd expect from a, from a team that knows how to do those crossfires and get them set up. You you cannot double down in your aggressiveness and push in like this for the Wafat team. and Because uh, when, when Vode holds like this, it's almost impossible to push in from that server room. And now Vode is in the lead with nearly 15 points. No, not 15. How about a few? A uh, little over... 12, yeah. 12 points. So doing well. points lead for Vode... Can they keep it? That's the question. Oh, well, Fat Heavy heading on door one gets one pick, gets two picks. That's a strong wipe there. Oh, it just goes down though, but his team can make use of those picks. Are they going to push in? We've got Bob gets picked on Fat. One Bolter here might be able to get a body shot, and then the other teammate could, could finish this off. But it looks like Vote Team just holding way too well in the hallway for them to make use of this. And that exactly the setup they have mm -hmm. right now is the smart play yep. I talked about before the stream with you. Yep. 
Usually they also had one guy at the fat stairs. Just that's normally what you'd wall. see uh, the bolter play on fat stairway. Just kind of looking into dubs is where where bolters usually hang out. Uh, yeah. What I will say is, with fat still not still not quite playing the flank game here. Most of them just trying to play aggressive dubs, and it's not working out super super well yet. Uh, we do have one heavy up here on the roof. It looks like Shifty. He's trying to get those flanks, but his LA just went down. Where did the, uh... Shifty goes down, but where's Winter then? Oh, there's, uh, okay. Oh. Shifty get the pick on, uh, the other LA. Shifty probably just holding here until his team can actually start pushing into dubs. Looks like they're going. Shifty getting one pick off of Fat. Shifty gets two picks off of Fat. Really his team his team is in a good spot to actually move in here here they go they're going down skinny right now if they can hold on to this for another cap that's what is it 36 points for a recap on a half yes, so I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be for the Wafat team to get that recap uh, or even if they need it uh, if they can just get the picks uh, they'll still be in a very good spot here well, fat team really needs to make more use of these flanks. What we're seeing right now is just mostly all inside oh, the building. Way too aggressive there. Gets picked off mid air by the enemy like a Bob Squiddle here holding very, very aggressive box. Goes down to the bolter on his left. But it looks like it gets cleaned up by, uh... Who is this? Is that Bapti? No. Can't read his name. Uh, but either way, LA, uh, I think on... No, actually, no LA still. Once they have their LAs up, they're going to have a good spot uh, up here on the roof to kind of hold off uh, off the fat uh, doors. Ooh, this one, LA, one heavy is going to go down here in a second. He's getting flanked on door one. Oh, he runs away, though. Might be able to bait his team. Oh. Bob might get the pick. He gets the pick. Still another uh, fat, uh, or rather, door one bolter. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and now the aggressiveness yeah. of WFAT comes to show. They were just pushing out all three at the same door and showing that that building is ours. Yeah, yeah. what you want to see here is a lot of that kind of play. Going outside and pushing around from the uh, from the aggressive flanks. Uh, I hope I see more of this from the WFAT team because this is this is really what, what, uh, what you'd expect from an aggressive team on Ghana. The voting is really grouping up right now, but I don't know what they want to do. If they all go <clears> in the same <throat> Looks like they're all going in the same door and they're getting picked off from both sides. Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> they're actually they're actually holding off on both boxes here. Uh so far. And no, I take that all back. They are getting picked off on all sides. It's nearly like we both saw matches on these maps. So for the Vode team, what they should probably do at this point is just regroup, get the picks, and then push in together. Uh, I'm not sure... Even go for the long, long flank I'm... with like three guys? Well, if Wafat actually has uh, an LA on the roof, which actually they don't, uh, but if they did have an LA on the roof, that would that would hold off that flank uh, pretty well. But so, since they don't, actually the Vode team should make use of that. They should go around on the dub side and get that flank as they try to push in, because the Wafat team is going to be playing super aggressive here on the fat doors. Uh, as you can see, by the way, they're almost all dead very close to the fat doors. Uh, Winchester Flower Ranging Team, very aggressive players, but they, they went a little over aggressive there, I'd say, and actually uh, all got picked off on the fat doors. They just got hyped up. Mm -hmm. They just got hyped up. So now, uh, WFAT's still in a good spot here, though. If they can take back the building, get back control, uh, they'll have a very good spot to get a recap in. Uh, we do have one heavy over here going on door one, it looks like. I think there's a shifty. Is that right? No, Eddie, actually. Eddie finally playing the aggressive flanks. Going in with an SMG. Gets one pick off of Fat. Uh, Bolter, I think, tried to get a body there, but actually he ran away. Eddie ran away before he could do it. Eddie coming back now for the flank. Doesn't notice the Bolter, which the Bolter did hear his call out, and he picks him right off of door one. Uh, looks like the Winchester Flower Ranger team heading down on a point now. They're still half uh, half capped it, so actually uh, they're in a good spot to get this cap if they can hold on to the building a little longer than they did. Yeah, with roughly seven minutes. Yeah, left. lots of time. That is more than doable, and seeing back caps is. Yeah, recaps. Recaps are pretty rare, I would say, but uh, we've been seeing a lot more of them lately. 
Uh, I think that also just comes down from the inexperience of the team. Yeah. That recaps happen more often. Yeah. Uh, one thing to point out, the WFAT team did just go completely dead inside the uh, the powerhouse here. Um, they're probably going to have to regroup on the dubs uh, and wait for that push again. Uh, they had it for a little while, and then the entirety of the Vogue team pushed in from all sides and then uh, wiped them out entirely. Now we do have a Winchester this flower ranging. Is incredibly close. Yeah. According to my script, which is not the referee script, we are at 234 for WFAT and 239 for Vody. This is very close on both sides. Points. It's really going to come down to whoever can get those last minute picks and whoever can, if if the recap is done, whoever can get that recap uh, in. Because if Vode can manage to hold off the uh, the cap and get it almost entirely back to them, while they don't get points, that's going to be insanely hard for the Wafat team to get that cap after that. Nope. Are we going to see if Vode aggressive? To show is who can hold the penalty angle smarter, who can position himself smarter somewhere in the building to just maybe get that one kill mm -hmm. that runs past you when you're standing behind the box. Looks like we do have Winchester Flower Ranging Team heavy upstairs on, uh, or rather on the roof, Shifty. Uh, he's been playing the uh, the flank, door one flank, the entire game, I'd say. Uh, he's he's It's a very smart play, and I hopefully we'll see uh, another smart play here. Uh, running into door three, it looks like he's going to get gonna get Both the bolter, so I think. This is really, really bad looking for WFAT. Ooh, Shifty gets the Desi kill off of the bolter, but unfortunately goes down, and the uh, the Desi kill obviously doesn't count for points, so while it does get rid of the bolter, yeah, while it does get rid of the bolter, he did go minus two there, didn't get the pick. Yeah, but I don't think they can get, like, a minus two is really the last thing they need right mm -hmm. now, even if they have a Desi Yeah, they really, trade, really don't want to get those, those uh, minus twos, minus fours. That is 11 points. This is nothing. Ooh, a fat bolt there. Bapti getting a pick. Well, fat pushing in. Going down skinny now. Gets one pick, but unfortunately, both of them go down, and only one of the Vode heavies go down. Looks like, uh. Oh, actually, we've got some fat heavies downstairs. Probably one of the stronger heavy assaults. Okay. The referee just calls four minutes. Yep, four more, four more minutes. minutes uh, very unlikely for the Winchester Flower Ranging team to be able to hold on to this for the cap. Uh, I would love to know if the cap is even still possible. On my script and on my my game, I it says it says no for me. For me, it says no as well. Yeah. I know that the referee is a little bit uh, <laughs> later starting. <laughs> A little bit slower than us. In terms of the clock, after all. Yes. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, not not sure if it's possible. And if, if Vode even gets one half a millisecond on that point, that's likely enough. Uh, <laughs> we are looking right now on my script at only one point difference. It's really going to come down to kills, it seems, uh, for the Winchester Flower Ranging team. If they can play aggressive, get the kills off of Fat Door, and at least hold off one push, they will be in a good spot to win this. They need to hold off an entire push, though. Uh, if Vode pushes in just like they've been pushing in, uh, and then they just go back and forth, Vode is much more likely to win this. Oh! My money is still on Vode. I believe in the guys. Uh, bad news. Looks like yeah, WFAT already lost their bolter that was holding it down. Uh, and now they're getting pushed back up into fat. This is not looking good. Ooh. Oh. My boys. WFAT goes completely down inside a powerhouse. This is likely, likely. Uh, <laughs> All right. If, if Wafat can get an aggressive push going and then hold them off for one wave, I still say they can win this. Uh, but they have to be able to both get the That's building the back. That's zero points, guys. You need to score now. I think what they're trying to do is just get the building back first, and then they can hold from inside. But it's not really their strong suit to be holding uh, as an aggressive team. They really want these flanks. Um, two more minuets. We, we see still just two players on the roof, uh, one being Eddie, one Winter. Uh, or is that... No, actually, yeah, that's winter. So, so two heavies on the roof. They need it. Now they are one point in lead with Vogue. Very close scores right now. Looks like we have, what is this? 
Oh, three there points for W Pet? How did they got three points that far? We got Ollie here on door How three. Get three points? Uh, likely a team kill, wasn't it? On the other side? Yeah. No. No, it's one point more for W Pet on my screen. Okay. I really don't want to it's see the It's very, very Sorry. close, is what we can say. Uh, oh, Bapti with a ghost oh, kill. Oh, I think that could be the decision. If he can get another pick here, that'd be great. Oh, no, but he goes down anyway on, uh, on lobby. Well, Fat no, no, might, no, might take no, advantage he here. The push on skinny with this oh, but he goes down to the bolter. Very good shot there by uh, Carlito. Bob Squiddle now holding the point. Right now. One score difference right Incredibly now. close game right now. Decimator kill on Carlito from Winter. Well, Fat really just trying to hold Vode off right now, and it's it's not playing super well. Vode's actually going aggressive quite a lot. There, here they go right now. We got two in lobby, two on Fat. Looks like they're pushing in. We got two Vode heavies heading up skinny. Two Vode heavies heading up fat. Well, fat's in a very bad spot here. Vode is in the lead now with three to score. Ooh. Well, fat can still come back. They just need 15 seconds left. They just need a few picks. Can they do it? It's really yeah, going to be up to Batty. If, 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 Bapti, if Bapti can get a couple of picks here, they're be in a good spot. Let's see. Welcome no, it doesn't look like it. Fat. Yeah, that's gonna be time for me. That's the concussion going out. It's time. What's the final score? Let me add the 18 for the Vode team, and I'll tell you. What is the final score from the referee? Okay, so for me. Uh, what I'm seeing here is actually 143 to 143. What do we see on the uh, refs team? Well, looks like they have 189 to 186, so Vody wins. Wow. Incredibly close game the whole time. Wow. This was ridiculous. Yeah, that uh that's really what you want to see for 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 matches like these. This is this is that was a very close team uh team lineup. Both teams playing aggressively, very aggressively at the end. Uh, Vody, I think, really really kind of uh, played the smarter side here and actually stayed in the hallway and actually got those crossfire picks um, uh, quite a lot better than I'd say the Wafat team made use of it. Uh, so in the end, the Vode team got the picks that they needed. Uh, both teams got caps on both halves, but Vode team just, just barely inching out that win. Very good job by the Vode team. Etty Pick is already here. Hello, Etty, and hey. congratulations. I will ask if Bob Squirtle wants to join us as well. User left your channel. Uh, well played. Really, really well. Uh, the Vode team... User, uh, user joined hello, channel. Bobby S, and hello, Etty Pick. Hey. Hello. <laughs> hello, Red. Bob. Well played, well played. What hey refs, why are you here? No, hey refs and thank you. <laughs> we just wanted you, to refs. join you and uh, hear what you are talking about that very, very close match. I think that was the closest until now. Yes, like Zenora already called it the hottest match of the tourney so far. <laughs> um, I would say um, the Frenchies uh, melted the W Fat team in that case. <laughs> 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 Oh, who had the broken mouse? Wait, what? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Broken, broken. Hopes and GG dreams. to both teams. Um, yeah, Vody, if, um, if we win today, then we are both first in the group. <laughs> Thing and eh. Vody. Yes. Yes. Um, we uh, sort of doubled down and got punished for it, didn't we? Yeah, because we, we, we tried skinny once and it didn't work ergo skinny is not a tactical option ever again you see <laughs> that that's how things work you know Um...
into the uh, in, in second half. Uh, the last few minutes, to be fair, uh, we were quite happy to to be able to to break that uh, spawn kill because uh, I feel like that bolter on the, on door number one was just a pain in the ass, and I had I had to manually had a squad waypoints to my guys onto the map say uh saying i want that fucking bolt to dead and uh once there was that squad waypoint every time the we managed to repush the the door without the, the squad waypoints everyone was going um uh, kind of randomly and uh with the squad waypoint the, the that was kind of clear i want that door you see, otherwise they... it was kind of random Yeah, that that was the key factor. Once you get that, that that bolter from door number one, you can pretty much conk and then push the big stairs or points or whatever direction you want. But uh, yeah, the bolter was really deadly in, in this game. Yeah, that it's all the in-game leadership tools, you know. I Q spotted the point and made it go beep beep, and then the next push we managed to get in there. So there you go. It's it's all down. It's all down to the in-game leadership tools. Thank you, DBG. <laughs> that was, in my opinion, the closest and best match of the whole tourney until now. Guys, really, yeah. really great job. You could clearly see that both teams invested fuck loads of time to prep for this map. And yeah, one team was honestly, and I don't want to, to talk down anyone here, but I think one team was just more lucky at the end to win this that was amazing yeah yeah i i didn't had really i didn't had the scores but uh yeah i just told my guys all right play safe don't die yeah i didn't knew that it was so close i kind of felt it that the second half was ours even though we had like kind of a uh, few minutes where uh, we we're on the the downside be being like kind of spawn camp uh, by that bolter and the, the heavy into door number one, which made me doubt. But uh, in the rest of the round, I, I really thought that I I had the control with with body of the the second half. Uh, the first half was kind of so so in terms of team play because uh, kind of kind of triggered at the uh, at the beginning. But uh, but yeah, we built some momentum from the first at uh, the, the end of the first round to the second round to to build that team play. We we rely on. Game here. Uh, uh, the next match is... This uh... is this weird American team full of good players and... Um... This other team that crutches on team play, uh, Ram versus Bex. Ten more yeah, minutes. Yeah, man, I'm supposed oh, to stream that I, match. Uh, my money's <laughs> on. I have uh, <laughs> my money's on Ram because they have more organizers than Bex. So, so yes, that's, that's, that's how exactly this how PIL works, works since day one. Two, two. That's like all I'll go ahead and end the stream here. Addy, Addy Pick will pick up uh, for the next match. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.